New York pet owners have new protections thanks to a Long Island woman's decades-old fight for this beloved dog. Bully the dog. Veterinarians will soon have to disclose potential risks of prescription medicines. Tonight, CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff shows us that was not the case for Bully. We never wanted to see another family suffer the way that we did. A bittersweet mission accomplished for Mary Kay Tischler of Seaford, 10 years after her beloved Labrador died following knee surgery. They prescribed a drug called Rimadil and gave us no warnings whatsoever. It's a painkiller to help him with the post-surgical pain. The three-year-old became violently ill, kidney failure. After six weeks on kidney dialysis, Bowie had to be put down. I wouldn't have taken the risk that he was gonna die from a painkiller, and it turned out that this particular painkiller was well known to cause significant damage in yellow labs. Tischler set out to change the law. He or she needs to tell you what the the common risks and side effects are of that drug, which is such common sense. It's done with humans. For years, New York veterinarians opposed Bowie's law requiring vets to share with pet owners all potential risks in writing. The bill was amended. Vets must inform the owner of common, reasonably anticipated adverse effects of medications. Opposition was withdrawn. Bowie's law was signed in December. Among the advocates, a veterinary school dean who says there's always the potential for a bad reaction from medicine, it is an essential conversation for a vet to have with a pet owner. It's important that we address pain control in animals. So we're not saying you shouldn't use these drugs. We just say you have to use them very judiciously. And now it was finally time to lay buoy to rest. I waited 10 years to bury him because I felt like there was unfinished work to be done. He can rest in peace. Animal painkillers have treated millions without adverse reactions. Thanks to Bowie, pet parents will now be made aware of the risks. In Seaford, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And the law takes effect in June. The only other similar law in the country is in California.